All right, guys, on the next open page in your journal, I need you to write this at the top of your page. It is over slope intercept form notes. So these words sound familiar. Slope and intercept found are sound really familiar. We're gonna put it in a whole form, which is basically an equation. Um, we're, this is something new that we're learning. It is the beginning of our new pathway. You will not have a pathway packet until tomorrow when I am back. Um, but for today, we're gonna just put some notes on this paper. It's really over stuff that we already know. It just looks a little different now. So first I want you to write pretty big the letters Y equals MX plus B. Now you might have seen this around the, you know, the classroom, um, different things like that. And honestly, you really know um, how this works because we've been using it. We're just now giving it a name. It is called slope intercept form. Okay, so this is the form, this is the style of a equation of a line. So over here to the side, I want you to put equation of a line. That is what this is, it's an equation of a line. So any line that we have, we can make an equation for it that looks like this by replacing the M with something we know the slope and replacing the B with something we know the y-intercept and that is how you draw any or write an equation of a line so remember that we know how to find the slope and we know how to find the y-intercept of a line but these are just details about this line once we put it all together and write it in this equation we now have given this line a name and this is technically the line's name so let's talk a little bit more about this um, I said we know how to find slope, and it's really important to remember how to find slope. We find slope by doing the change in y values divided by the change in x values, which we like to call rise over run. The y-intercept is found, I'm gonna scoot my paper over so I can have some room to write. If I am going too quick for you, please pause the video and get what you need to get um, because I'm gonna just kinda go at my own pace. All right, uh, the y-intercept is found where the line crosses, and you might know what this, what this is saying, the y axis. It's also in a coordinate when zero is in the x spot and whatever number is here is the y-intercept. Okay, that's a number symbol, remember. I use it as a number symbol, yes, it's a hashtag also, but it doesn't. Okay, um, side note, remember that a graph looks like this. The axis for the y-axis is that one, and the x-axis is this one. If I drew a line on it, that little dot here would have a coordinate of zero and then a number. Whatever that number is, is the y-intercept, okay? We kind of know this stuff. Let's talk about some, let's just do some quick little slope notes. I'm gonna, I drew two lines over here. Um, one slope is positive and the other slope is negative. When I have a positive slope, I know that I'm gonna have to go up, count up, and then count over to get my rise over my run. If I have a negative slope like this, I'm gonna have to count down and then over to get my rise and my run. Okay, um, let's talk about any time that I am given. So if I'm given a line, and this is just an example line, like mm, that. We're gonna say that this is our y-axis, this is our x-axis. We're gonna say, this is, just an, this is just a drawing, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna say that our slope was two and our y-intercept is, I don't know what you would think that number might be, let's just call it one, I guess. If I were trying to fit it into y equals mx plus b, remember I replaced the m with the slope and the B with the Y-intercept. So I would replace this M 
with the two and then continue to write the x and the b with the y-intercept, which is one. So yes, it says plus one. So I'm gonna put plus one. If your y-intercept is ever negative something, like negative one or negative four or whatever, you would put minus one or minus four, whatever the number was that we just put minus, okay? Uh, let's talk about, even if it was on a table, remember if our, if we had a table and we were picking two numbers like this and we said that their rise um, was two and their run was one, two over one, I'm just pretending that there are invisible numbers right there, I'm just showing you an example, um, that their rise over their run was two over one, that is two over one for the slope. And we're gonna pretend that the intercept was one. So that's why I put the intercept there. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this rise two. And run one. So there we go. Now I have a little table that fits this line. Okay, um, if we were graphing, little side note right here, when graphing, y equals mx plus b. So if we ever had to take one of these equations and put it onto a graph, we would start with the y-intercept. Then from that dot, we would use our slope to rise, then run. We will practice this later on, maybe like tomorrow, um, how to do this stuff. Um, but for now, I just needed us to get all these notes here. So remember, if I was going too fast for you, I need you to pause the video, get whatever you need. Um, you're also going to need to pause this video for a second um, time because on the paper next to the paper that we just did in your journal, I need you to copy this down. You have some practice putting um, a slope and a, and a y-intercept. They're just going to give you the numbers. You're going to put it where it goes in y equals mx plus b. For instance, for this one, it says slope of 3, y-intercept of 2. If this number goes where the m goes, I'm going to write y equals 3x because we replace the 3 with the m. And then the y-intercept of 2, I replace this b right here with a 2. Just like that, plus 2. Remember that this, num this little letter means slope. This little letter means y-intercept. And I am going to uh, raise this paper slowly so you can pause the video when you need to to write all this down. You will finish this stuff in your journal and this is what I'm checking tomorrow. Okay, here I go. And that is it for today.